Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a small unboxing and having a little chit chat about some of the other things that I've been using here lately. Okay, so on all this, you can find the links down in the description. So let's get started. I want to get into this. I've been saving this for a few days. So that I could unbox it on camera. So. And what this is. Sorry about the rustling. Okay. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I really like using the carbon black from platinum so I decided to get the sepia and try that one as well now this is a waterproof ink and it is supposed to be okay to use in fountain pens as well um, I'll go more into that here in a little bit it looks like a nice chocolatey color so I'll be interested in trying that Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. One of these I'll probably go ahead and do a little demonstration on. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Just a laid back, chill kind of video. All right, so here we go. I am unboxing this. This is a little pocket set of travel brushes because currently in my little travel kit well I call it a travel kit it's not really it's just my little palette um, I, and my pencil bag that I take with me um, well anyway I saw these because um, currently I'm only using like uh, water brushes for my travel palette and I really did want this is a nice little case I really did want to be able to take a brush with me and I think this is going to solve my problems. Those brushes look nice. And it just screws on like that. It becomes I like that. Okay, I think I will be painting with these here in a little bit. And give you my first impressions. Okay, so those are nice. Um, what brand are these? I think they're just like a, like I said, I'll put the description in, the, I'll put the links in the description below, but, um, I think it was kind of like an off brand. We'll see. Okay. There's another thing I want to unbox and I got this as a Christmas gift um well I, my cousin sent me gift cards so i decided i needed a new journal and this is the baohong baohong is how you pronounce it um academy watercolor sketchbook now it says that the it's a hundred percent cotton i've never used baohong before so I was really interested in trying this. So I will not be doing a review on this today. I'm going to leave it in this package here. But I thought, oh, wouldn't that make a nice little travel thing with my little travel palette here? That would be very nice. But I do not want to start... Um, on this new journal until I have finished my Pentalic Aqua Journal. I've got six more pages to do in that one and then we'll have a look at this one and I'll be giving you impressions on both of those. 
One more thing I wanted to talk about. I've been using this for a few weeks so I could give you my thorough um, first impressions of this. This is the Amazon Basic Fountain Pen. I've never had a fountain pen before. I like dip pens. Um, and so I thought that this would be a really nice thing to talk about here because um, I have really loved using this pen to write with. I journal and I also like to write stories and stuff. So um, I really enjoy this pen. Now it came with two of these inks the Amazon Basics, but it also, so it really came with three because it had one in the pen and then it came with two separate ones. Um, I want to say the ink lasted me about a week. And this is a fine tip. Let's see if we can... It's a fine tip. Like I said, I don't really know much about fountain pens, but um, I have a feeling it's a pretty deep rabbit hole that I, someone could get into with these things because they really, I really enjoyed using this. Um, this is not the ink that came with it. I did buy some other cartridges. It's really easy to load. You just push the cartridge up in there till you feel it give way and fit up in there and then you're good to go. This is not a waterproof ink, but I, so far I haven't really used it for my water coloring. I want to show you the cartridge that I actually have in it is the Pent the Pelican, the Pelican a Brilliant Black. So this cartridge, these cartridges fit it. They're, they hold more ink and the ink is really nice. I think it writes a bit smoother with the Pelican ink than the basics. That is my only kind of negative about the pen is that it is a little bit scratchy. Now, I've only been using normal notebook paper, but I did do this little artwork with it. But, of course, it was just done in the lines, and I didn't do any kind of, like, um, painting or anything on it. And um, I really liked it. And this is done on the Canson XL Mixed Media paper. Um, and it did did kind of I don't know if the camera is picking that up but it did kind of you can see through the page there but uh, I thought I would give you my first well not really first impressions but I would give you my little input on this um, this was really in inexpensive on Amazon um, I do think that I will probably upgrade to some other uh, fountain pens. I'd like to try them in different nib sizes. And like I said, I, it's probably a, a very deep rabbit hole. But um, so those are the things that I've been using lately. I think I will go ahead and try out the brushes today. So come on, let's get to painting. Okay, so it does show the brand name here. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it, but... All right. So, I am going to be painting a little travel theme scene that I sketched out. So actually is a scene from an upcoming coloring book, adult coloring book, that I'm working on. Um, so yeah, um, let's see how these brushes work. And I'm using my Daniel Smith Travel Palette. 
It's got some other colors. It's not all Daniel Smith. It does have a few Turner and Cotman in there, but I'm going to turn this around. So I like my colors in a certain order. I am so particular, I swear. Okay. Little spritzy spritz. And let's try out these brushes. So I'm hoping to do a little bit more traveling this year of 2023. Wow. That seems so strange saying that. <laughs> it just sounds weird, 2023. Well, I can tell you already, this brush feels like it holds quite a bit of water. Now, I'm using the bigger uh, size. This is the size 12. I'm just going to go around it and wet my sky area here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am using the Harmony Hanamula. Hope I pronounced that right. I, like I said, I've been making up my own stuff, words. I'm just laying in some manganese back here in my sky area. It's a nice, beautiful day for for her travels her little gypsy traveler oh i saw the the neatest video um the other day there is a channel called girl in the woods and she had built a little gypsy wagon out of a utility trailer and uh, was the cutest thing cutest thing if you haven't seen her channel go check it out she is awesome all right just on the knee there we go i'm gonna go in with the sap green I'm going to try some different sizes too, but yeah, I'm, I really feel very comfortable holding this brush for sure. Feels good in the hands. It is a little bit thick, but not uncomfortably thick. Um, another thing is... talking about shape another thing is which I know most brushes are round but um, like it would be really cool if they didn't just roll around because when you may not have an even surface to paint on but I guess you could just keep them in the pouch until you're using that brush. But I wonder how it would be to have a brush that's kind of triangular shape or something where it won't. You know, like they do those carpenter pencils. Maybe those are not triangle shaped. Those are more just like... They have them shaped like that so they don't roll off tables. Okay, I'm going to come in here. But uh, they really do feel nice in the hands. The length is good. I'm liking it. I think the bristles seem nice and soft. I'm not seeing any hairs coming out. You know, so seems like I can get to the finer points as well with this. Yeah, I, I think I can cover a lot of area with just this brush alone. Get a little bit of yellow going in there with this green. 
get the tops of those trees in there. I'm not going to do anything too special with this painting. I'm just coloring it in, you could say, <laughs> with watercolors. Actually, for me, because I do sometimes get arthritis in my hands, using a paintbrush is just so much easier than using, say, markers or colored paper colored pencils, you know, it just, it's, it's so much easier on my hands and I can do it for longer, you know. I still really do enjoy working in colored pencils or um, markers, but not as often as I used to, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to let that bleed up into there a little bit. Let's get some of these Okay. A little bit more sap green. A little bit of negative painting around her. Modern day gypsy. You know, when I went to the UK, gypsy meant a whole different thing there. I'm not going to go into all that, but uh, so I always thought, oh, it'd be so cool to be a gypsy. It's not always associated with what you think. You know, the fun of travel, you know, like kind of almost like a the circus lifestyle is what I would say as an American, I found kind of like a romantic lifestyle, the thought of, I guess, nostalgia of that lifestyle growing up. But um, when I went to the UK, it meant a whole... <laughs> Different thing, because I would get all kinds of looks and I tell people, I want to be a gypsy one day. Um, but still, I uh, love dreaming about that lifestyle of traveling, seeing the world. But honestly, I don't know if I could do it full time. I see the videos of full timers. It, it definitely, I, I mean, I, I guess you just don't know about something until you try it. But I definitely want to do some more traveling for sure. All right, I'm going to get some more of the sap green here coming around her little calf and there's a rug there because you know it's a gypsy camp you gotta and she's got her fire pit here the rug goes that way so i'm gonna or is this dirt? We're going to make that. That's concrete. What am I saying, rug? Concrete. You know, like they've got in the campgrounds. Little fire pit area. Okay. Ooh, I like how that blended up in there a bit. The distant trees. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to try a different size. Very soft bristles. I like these. These are nice. Goodbye. Imagine I'll probably let that dry before I put it back in the... Uh... Okay, let's try the smaller one. This is the number four. I'm just going into some of my transparent 
yellow oxide okay So when I, uh, when I first started painting, I, uh, used to love to color, do the coloring books. On my uh, on days where I just didn't know what to draw because I could still get practice in my water control. So um, whether you draw your own pictures, Okay, I'm going to go into that color there. I even do offer a free printable. I forget what's up right now. I think it might be the giraffe. Um... If you sign up for my email notifications, which I'll be honest with you, I haven't even sent any out. <laughs> so I'm not going to be bombarding you with emails. But it's a way to where if for some reason anything ever happened to YouTube that I could still keep y'all updated on things. So please feel free to go join that and it's 100% free and you do, you will get emailed a free I believe it's just a black and white of my line work for a previous work that I did. Like I said, I believe it's the giraffe one that I did in inks. I'll link that down below too. As well as um, the review that I've done for this paper before. I've really enjoyed using this paper. I'm just about out of it. But uh, I definitely would purchase it again. Will I purchase it right away? No, because I'm kind of going on a, I can't say a no buy, but it's going to be a low buy year for me because um, I really need to use up the supplies I've got. Because I just don't like clutter, you know. It, I feel like it intrudes on my creative space in my brain. So I really want to try and go to a low buy. And so because I have so many papers still, I'm going to go ahead and wait. 
to order more, but I have enjoyed it. All right. Trying to just put some colors in there. I do see an area back here that I'm wanting to fill in some darker. Okay, let's grab a little bit of this Viridian. And I don't want this to be a whole tutorial here, but I will go ahead and speed this up a little bit so that you can watch me use these brushes, but then I will go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Definitely not having any problems just by using these three sizes. And I feel very comfortable with the round brushes. So at this point, my final thoughts are I actually really enjoy using this brush set. And I think it is more than sufficient to travel with. Uh, small enough to keep in a handbag. Yeah, I like it. So if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe because I have more tips, tutorials, and product reviews coming up. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.